and welcome to my channel. So today I'm finally doing the highly requested video of how to make my iced coffee. This is a video dedicated strictly to it because everyone knows I love my iced coffee as well as my Dunkin Donuts. So I think I found the perfect coffee pot to actually make really good iced coffee at home. And I wanted to share it with you because this is definitely the best coffee pot I've ever bought in my life. It is a Ninja coffee pot and I bought mine off Amazon because it was cheaper. And it has so many features, I can't wait to show y'all. But I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all the coffee recipe and then I'll go ahead and show y'all a little bit more about the actual coffee pot. The first thing that I'm going to do is use the scoop and I'm going to put, which is really cool because you see how it just kind of went out like that. So I'm going to take the scoop and I do have my French vanilla Dunkin' Donuts coffee right here, the coffee grounds that I keep in this glass container. And I'm going to do about three scoops of this on the larger scoop side. So the reason why that I'm using three scoops is because I'm only gonna do half of a carafe of the iced coffee just because it is a little bit colder out and I think I'm gonna kinda transition to hot coffee because it is getting really cold and I don't really wanna be freezing drinking my coffee because I tried it the other day and it didn't work. So I'm gonna do half but I still want it to be really strong right now because I'm really looking for some really good coffee. So I went ahead and put three scoops in here usually it'll be about two, two and a half and then when it is a full carafe, it is going to be about four scoops four and a half scoops and the only reason why I do know that is because it does come with the spoon that I just used that has the larger side as well as the smaller side and it does show you on here that if you have half of a carafe it's going to be three to four scoops and a whole one is four to six and then it'll also show you if you have a normal or a, a extra large cup of coffee for hot coffee and then also for a cup of coffee like a to-go cup of coffee. So it actually does give you the amount of scoops. So that's really awesome. So now after that, I do get the carafe and I'm going to go ahead and fill this up with ice, um, which is crazy because it actually does brew the coffee as iced coffee and it doesn't melt the ice to where it's watery. It actually makes very good brew coffee. So you don't have to worry about putting extra grounds in there to make it stronger. It brews it out, I'm pretty sure, at a lower level of heat. Water, so it doesn't like completely just drain all the flavor out of it. So it does come with this little lid. So I usually do like to fill it up about three fourths of the way. I'm on the instructions, no matter if you have a full carafe or a half of carafe of ice for the coffee, it's gonna be filling it up all the way basically. But I do mine about three fourths of the way so that it can still have a little bit of the ice in it. So after I put the lid back on, I'm just gonna slide this right back in here and set it into like the little coffee pot area. So then I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to press the half carafe. I'm gonna turn the little knob until it says half carafe. And, I'm, and then I'm gonna brew it over the ice feature. It actually has that feature, so I guess it's gonna be like a colder coffee. And I'm gonna go ahead and brew that and then I'm gonna show you exactly how I make my iced coffee to be really good. So now that my coffee has brewed, I went ahead and got me a glass cup and I went ahead and filled it up halfway because of course, iced coffee is not iced coffee without ice. And then I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the coffee pot. And I have my iced coffee. So it has all of the ice in it, which is so awesome. As you see in the time lapse, it does not melt it all away. It's like colder coffee or something. I don't know. I wish I knew, but it's amazing. So basically I'm gonna fill it up about three fourths. And these are gonna be my main ingredients for the coffee to make it the best coffee. So one of my number one ingredient, which is what everyone asked me, this is gonna make your coffee amazing. So it is the French Vanilla by Nestle Coffee Mate. And I do get this from my Sam's Club, which is a really big department store for like bulk items of food and everything you need basically. So this is the French Vanilla Creamer and I love this creamer, I've been using it for However long I've been drinking coffee, and it's absolutely amazing. So basically, I'm just gonna pour this in until I feel like it is enough. I don't measure it, but I just know that this is the creamer that does it for me. So the next ingredient that really does make the coffee amazing, and this is really a tip that I found out on the internet after doing some research myself. So basically, as you know, Starbucks baristas, any coffee people who put any type of french vanilla or any type of flavor into it uses like a syrup. This is Tarani syrup and it's the vanilla syrup and this has honestly changed the game. So basically I've been adding this in my coffee instead of sugar and it is amazing and I highly recommend it. And this one's the sugar free one so it's a lot less um, for you. But 
So basically it's like a sugar syrup, um, but in vanilla flavor. And this is what changes the game for my coffee. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit to this. I don't measure it out, just like I said for the other creamer, but I do just kind of pour as much as I need into it. So make sure you stick around to see exactly everything you need to know about this coffee pot. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. Thank y'all, my name is Autumn. So before I go, I do want to tell you a little bit about this coffee pot and exactly why I love it. So the first thing that I notice, which is really awesome whenever I do have hot coffee and I want to spank like a latte or anything of that nature, there is something that kind of just pulls out and it is a frother. So literally you just push it back in and it's like you've never seen it. Um, and it does froth your milk or anything that you want to do. Um, it is a button on here and basically just froth your milk. So I thought that was pretty cool. So there is a button I actually so just found that out there is a button and you press it and it frosts the milk which is super awesome and i think it'll be really convenient for you if you want to make at home lattes instead of spending money all the time the next thing is going to be this little scoop so it does have a smaller section and a larger section and it does tell you exactly how many scoops you need for the amount of coffee that you're going to make so that's what i love about it you don't have to worry about measuring it out it literally measures it out for you and it's just super compact and you just stick it right back in on the side and it's like you never even see that it's there so the next thing is going to be where the craft goes so the craft goes into this little nugget or this little circuit or whatever you circle or whatever you want to call it I mean, basically you just place it like that and it's just like a hot surface just like a normal coffee pot but what is really cool if you want to do like a to-go cup a coffee cup or anything you could just stick it on there as well but if you have a cup you just pull this out. It could be a normal mug or oversized mug and you just stick it right here and then it will brew the coffee inside the mug for you. Um, and you don't stick it on the bottom part, you stick it on here, but it's super cool. So you just pull it in right back like that. So then the next one is going to be exactly where the grounds go. So I just brewed the coffee, so it's still pretty hot, but basically you can use it as a reusable one like I do, or you can use coffee filters and then basically you just pull it up and then it's just another one. And make sure that none of the grounds do get into the coffee. So it's super secure and it just kind of folds out like that. So it's super cool and convenient. And then you can do drip stop or drip. Um, and we just always have it on the one that says keep the drip going but I'll turn it off because it is dripping a little bit since I opened it. So then the next thing is gonna be the water compartment. Um, basically it is on the side like this and it opens up um, and you can pour the water in it depending on if it is under or above the cabinet, but we keep ours underneath the cabinet, not right here. This is strictly for the video, but it's usually underneath the cabinet, so I always have to take it out. But basically you just pull it out like this. So basically you just pull it out like that. Super cool. I love it. So then we do have the controls. So this is the main part if I can get it to focus So you can do a.m. or p.m. And you press on you can also do delay brew and set the time exactly when you want the, the brew to happen Which is super awesome and convenient if you want to wake up to the smell of coffee So there is a little knob and you could do like an extra large like to-go coffee cup the half craft the full craft You can do the travel travel size the extra large cup or the regular cup so that's pretty cool if you want to have a little bit more coffee you could do the extra large cup or the regular cup depending on your coffee cup size and it also with the menu does tell exactly how much i think it's like six ounces or six to eight ounces and then more ounces like that so that's cool and then you have the classic brew coffee which is everybody knows about that and then the rich coffee, I'm pretty sure as I watched it, it does brew coffee normally and then certain times it brews it without the water at all and it's just dripping of rich coffee. So it's a little bit stronger. It's actually a lot stronger and it's more smooth. So you can definitely tell the difference. And then you do have the over ice button which is super cool and convenient, which is the one I usually always do. But now that it's getting very cold in Texas, I'm gonna probably switch over to hot coffee soon. So then you have the special concentrated coffee, which is more stronger for a four ounce, so probably like a espresso shot. And then the Cafe Forte, which is a normal one as well. It's just options, I guess. So then you can do the clean version, so it can clean out the coffee pot. And you can do the stay warm. So if I have hot coffee or anything is sitting right here in the carafe, you could just stay warm. 
So basically that's it. I'm going to enjoy my coffee and really just get some work done. I wanted to just show you a little bit about the coffee maker. I'm gonna link all the ingredients, the coffee maker, everything down below. And honestly, this is the best coffee pot I've ever been bought and I totally recommend it. And I'm not even just saying that just to say it. No one told me about this coffee pot but my boyfriend because it brewed iced coffee without, cause usually, before when I had a normal coffee pot, I brewed a whole bunch of coffee, let it cool overnight, put it in the fridge, and that was my cold coffee. So now that I can do it with the ice and not wait, it's amazing. And it honestly brews every cup of coffee, I swear, in less than three minutes. Best thing I ever had. So don't forget to try it. Everything is linked down below. Give this video a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching. My name is Autumn. Bye, y'all.